Alicia Smith, she's a familiar face to NOPD officers used in online and social media campaigns to help promote the department. But she's been disciplined as well, caught violating several policies and hit with a stiff punishment. WDSU investigative reporter Travis Mackle is live in the studio with more on what action the NOPD recently took against Officer Smith. Travis. So well, they say she violated several department policies and was suspended for over 20 days. Now, the area's largest watchdog agency says the behavior by the officer is concerning. This is my passion. On the job. It's about the community that we serve, and I love New Orleans. NOPD officer Nalisha Smith is used by the department in promotional videos, a way for the police force to try and add more officers. I really enjoy helping people. I'm a people's person. But these days, Officer Smith is anything but a poster girl for police. She's about to start serving a 21-day suspension. Raphael Goyaneci is the head of the Metropolitan Crime Commission. The reason that there are rules that every law enforcement agency codifies and holds officers accounted to is they don't want these violations to progress and go on. But records show that's been the case with Officer Smith. Last fall, Smith was accused of leaving her assigned patrol area on duty and in her marked unit, driving across the city from Gentilly to Central City and taking pictures of a parked car as part of a domestic dispute and then improperly posting them to social media. Internal NOPD records obtained by WDSU investigates through a public records request show that the department looked at Nalisha Smith for two counts of stalking. Neither was sustained, but the NOPD did find that she violated several other rules and regulations. Violations like leaving her assigned area and keeping false and inaccurate records. Weeks ago, Smith was given a 21 day suspension, and this isn't the first time that's happened. You want gravy on it? Since 2009, records show that Nalisha Smith has been accused of violating department policies nine times and has been written up and at times suspended from duty. And this is a disturbing pattern right here, and you need to make an example of some of these officers to discourage continued misconduct. That's what the NOPD feels it's done. In a written statement, Superintendent Michael Harrison says, the NOPD takes all allegations against personnel seriously, and the department's Public Integrity Bureau works hard to ensure a fair and unbiased outcome. In this case, PIB investigators completed their investigation and applied the appropriate disciplinary action approved by Superintendent Michael Harrison. Weeks ago, when contacted by phone, Nalisha Smith told us she'd call us back. It's uh, Travers Mackle over at WDSU. How are you? But never did. We called her back twice and never got an answer. If you could give me a call back at this number. Goyanechi says the department made the right call on suspending Smith. At some point in time, when you see a continuing pattern, whether you're in the public sector or the private sector, job action is required for the misconduct of that officer and also to set an example to the other employees that this isn't going to go on forever. The NOPD tells us that Officer Smith starts serving her suspension in September.